Hey everyone, wishing every single one of you a very happy International Yoga Day. And thank you so much for sticking around, practicing yoga with me on my channel. I truly feel blessed and grateful. And honoring this special day, let's get to a nice full body yoga flow routine with Surya Namaskar's asana practices and also some guided meditation by the end. And once you're ready, hop onto your mats and let's begin. Starting the practice in the standing position, we're getting into some stretches for the legs and the feet here, dropping the edge of the foot down and lifting the inside out. Hold here. Begin to lift one heel up away from the mat, standing on the balls of your feet and switch. Keep lifting left and right for a stretch and mobility on ankles. Lifting for calf raises, both your heels up and down. Up and down. Beautiful strengthening and stretch for your calves, your ankles and your legs overall. Feet come together. One leg goes over the other and extend your arm above the head. Stretching for a nice side bend here. Switch. And stretch for your side. Moving on to some asana practice, first one is going to be Utkata Konasana or the Goddess Pose. Open your legs wider than your hips, engage your core, bend your knees and get down to a nice deep squat. Open your arms out and your hands in Gyan Mudra. The tip of your index and your thumb touches each other. Close your eyes, open your chest, stay here breathing. Feel that strength and power and also getting warmed up as you stay here. Good work, bring your legs in to the hip distance apart. Interlock your fingers, take it right above your head. Now you're going to bend left and right for a nice lat stretch. Keep breathing. Now drop your hands down, rounding your back and looking up, arching your back. Down as you round and up as you exhale, arch. Showing you all a side profile to get it right with your spine. One last one. This time, open your hands, take it right behind you. Begin to give me pulses, working the hands in towards each other to squeeze for your shoulder beds. And back to the center. For the legs, bring one of your leg into you. Hug the leg tight and hold. Flex the foot and point the foot for some mobility on your ankle. Now circle it out. And switch for the other leg. In towards you. Flex in point.
and circles. Few more for the legs. I want you to take one of your leg, place it like so. If this feels hard, you can just place a little bit lower than where I have placed. But don't forget to engage your core, locking yourself straight up. And switch to the other leg. Hold, rooting high through the ceiling. Beautiful opening for your hip. Moving on for some warrior drills. Let's pick the right side first. Spread your legs out wider than your hips. Right leg pivots and the left leg facing straight. Lunge down on your right leg. Open your arms. Soft gaze to the right side. Hold. And for the triangle, straightening out your right leg and sliding your hand under to reach the left hand above the head. Engage your core and hold strong without bending your knees. Now let's take it to the reverse. Reaching the other hand behind and switching for the right side body here. Open out for heart. And back to the center. This time I want you to hug your body with your left hand. Take your right hand behind. Look at your shoulder behind for a nice back stretch. Release it. Let's do the same warrior drill on the left side this time. Pivot your left leg, bending your left knee, reaching down to Virabhadrasana with your arms opened up, chin up as you hold. Straightening out your knee, lock it and straight down for triangle. Look up, lengthen your neck, shoulders down away from the ears. Take the time to cartwheel your hands to reverse the side angle. Closing your legs back in for the stretch, hugging your hip with your right hand, this time taking your left behind, soft gaze to the shoulder behind, breathe. Next one is my most favorite move, it's the spinal wave. Take both your hands right behind your head, drop your head down to the chest and slowly roll each vertebrae at a time down to your legs. Now exhale, find a nice tabletop active back to come up. Inhale down, roll down. Exhale, flatten out your back to come up to start. Keep going. Wonderful work for the spine here, for your spinal health and also a great core activation exercise. And it's also amazing for your legs. I'm sure you can feel it. Enjoy the process of movement here. One last wave, down as you go.
and reach up. Now I want you to open your legs a little bit wider than your hips, toes facing forward for the deep forward fold here. Hands go straight to your ankles or your calves, pulsing your body towards the legs. Palms go down to the ground, bend your knees and straight diving to Malasana, feet fully down to the mat, moving your legs, swaying your body to mobilize your hips. Now holding for the static deep squat, hands on prayer in front of your chest, close your eyes and stay here breathing. Reaching up. We're getting into three rounds of traditional Surya Namaskars or Sun Salutation. I want you to stand to the top of the mat so that the length of the mat is behind you. Hands on Tadasan. Close your eyes and take a deep inhale through your nose and exhale with your mouth. On the next big inhale, swing your hands all the way up above your head, palms together. Look up to the ceiling. Exhale, flex your hands. Push to reach down to your legs. Drop the head down heavy. Bend both your knees. Take the right leg behind you on a big lunge. Drop the back knee down. Untuck the toes underneath. Hold, taking the left leg behind and holding for the plank here, engage your core. Dropping down for Chaturanga, sinking your upper body down, lift it on the glutes. Now tuck the elbows underneath and reach up from Bhujangasan. Curl the toes underneath, reaching on your knees and straight to downward facing dog or Adho Mukha Svanasana. Try to press your upper body towards the lower. Try to bring your right leg to the gateway between your hands. Drop the back knee down, hold. Now the left leg meets the right, drop the head down heavy, swinging your hands all the way up, palms together above your head and exhale down to heart center in Tadasana. Taking a deep inhale through your nose, exhale with your mouth. On the next big inhale, swing your hands all the way above the head. Exhale, folding your cells down, the head drops heavy. The left leg taken behind on the big lunge this time. Drop the back knee down, hold. Right leg taken behind, straight diving to the plank with an engaged core. Pushing the body down for Chaturanga. Tuck the elbows into your body. Pressing the palms down, reaching away from the mat for Bhujangasin. Curl the toes underneath, onto the knees and then to the downward facing dog. Close your eyes and stay here. A giant leap forward with the left leg. Drop the right knee down to the mat. Curl the bottom foot to reach the front leg. Now swinging the hands all the way up, palms together, look up. 
and exhale the hands down to heart center in Tadasan. Second round. Inhale, hands up, palms together. Exhale, rooting down to the ground, the head drops heavy. Right leg taken behind, dropping the knee down. Left leg taken behind, straight to the plank with engaged core. Pushing down for Chaturanga. Press the palms, tuck the elbows to reach for Cobra. Curl the toes underneath for the downward facing dog. Right leg to the gateway between your hands. Drop the back knee down. Left leg in front. Inhale, swing your hands all the way up, palms together. And exhale down to heart center in prayer. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, swinging up. Exhale, dropping down. Inhale, take the left leg behind, drop the back knee down. Exhale, take the right leg behind, hold for the plank, breathe. Exhale, down for Chaturanga. Inhale, and exhale, pressing the palms down, reach for Bhujangasana. Curl the toes underneath, downward facing dog. The left leg comes forward this time. Drop the back knee down. Right leg meets the left leg. To swing your hands all the way to the start, palms together. And exhale, bring the hands down to heart center. Third and final round. Inhale, hands up, palms together. Exhale, rooting down to the ground, the head drops heavy. Right leg taken behind, dropping the knee down. Left leg taken behind, straight to the plank with engaged core. Pushing down for Chaturanga. Press the palms, tuck the elbows to reach for Cobra. Curl the toes underneath for the downward facing dog. Right leg to the gateway between your hands. Left leg in front. Inhale, swing your hands all the way up, palms together. And exhale down to heart center in prayer. Inhale, swinging up. Exhale, dropping down. Inhale, take the left leg behind. Drop the back knee down. Exhale, take the right leg behind. Hold for the plank. Breathe. Exhale down for Chaturanga. Inhale. And exhale, pressing the palms down, reach for Bhujangasana. Curl the toes underneath, downward facing dog. The left leg comes forward this time. Drop the back knee down. Right leg meets the left leg. To swing your hands all the way to the start, palms together. And exhale, bring the hands down to heart center. Wonderful work. Let's get to the mat for some yoga for abs to make it a nice full body workout. Lying down with back well rested to the mat. Extend one of your leg and pull the other in towards your chest. Now lifting your head, let the chin be closer towards the knee. Hold. Don't forget to breathe. Now 
and switch to the other side. Extend the leg out fully, pulling the other in towards your chest and crunching your cells up. Breathe. Setu Bandhasana or the Pelvic Bridge, great asana to strengthen your core. Legs bent, hands by your side, and you're going to slowly lift your glutes up. Now interlock your fingers and shoot your hands right below your spine. Hold it here, chin away from the chest, and breathe. Squeeze your bum. Engage your core. And relax. Extending both your legs up straight to the ceiling. We're getting in some lower abdomen work. You're thinking to pulse your legs up and drop down. Don't move way ahead, stay within the range. Two more. And relax. And with that, we come to the end of the class. Curl yourselves up, crunching to breathe in the space. Relax back down. Spreading your legs out, flexing your foot underneath and opening your legs out for happy baby pose or so Anandha Balasana. Close your eyes, spine well rested on the mat or begin to sway your body side to side. Stay within your hip range. Closing your legs to drop down. Now begin to go in for internal external rotations for your legs. Drop the legs down on either sides. Peeling off your butt cheek off the mat. And feel that beautiful stretch on your back. Now let's spend a few deep breaths here on Shavasana. Extend your legs out. Palms opened. Close your eyes and begin to focus on your breath here in the silence and imagine to think how it feels to deep breathe. Feel your belly go rise up and down. Taking this time out to appreciate your body to show up and that you've spent your energy today in carving out space and time on the mat. Coming out of Shavasan, I want you to shake your hands and gently come up to a seated position to your mat. I'm going to be guiding you to finish off this class with some breathing technique and pranayama practice. Hands on Gyan Mutra, the tip of your index finger touches your thumb. And we're going to start by doing some deep abdominal breathing. Take a deep inhale through your nostrils and exhale out with your mouth. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, last one, inhale, exhale, and relax. 
and moving on to alternate nostril breathing or Nadi Shodhan. Folding down for your index and tall finger, using your right nostril for your thumb and the ring and pinky finger for your left nostril. The ideology behind this is to inhale through one and exhale to another to improve lung capacity. Follow through. I want you to close your right nostril. Inhale through the left. Close the left. Exhale right. Inhale right. Close right and exhale to the left. Inhale left, close left, exhale right. Inhale right, close right, exhale left. Inhale left, close left to exhale out right. Inhale right, close right. Exhale left, inhale left, close left to exhale out right. Inhale right, close right, exhale left, inhale left, close left to exhale out right. Follow me through for some neck stretches. Dropping the head down, left and right. Dropping the chin down to the chest. And chin up. Now give me a one three sixty degree head rotation. and reverse the rotation to the other side. Going in for a spinal wave, I want you to drop your head down, rounding your spine as you come up. Inhale down. Exhale up beautiful to release any tension from your lower back and to ease out your shoulder and your neck muscles and closing down the final stimulations pressing your hands down to your eyes soft gentle press down to the eyes with your hands and closing your ears with your thumb to cancel out noise and light and to bring down our system to anatomical neutral Rubbing your palms. And run it down to your face. And bring your hands down to heart center. With a grateful bow down to the mat. For the time and energy that's spent on the mat today. I really hope that this made you feel good, both mind and body. I would love to hear your feedback, leave your comments below on how you did and thank you so much for showing up on the mat today. Until next time, Namaste.